Good day everyone! I am Mom Janet, your music teacher. Before we start, let's have a short recap on our previous lesson about the traditional instruments of India, Pakistan, and Israel. Can you name the instruments and from what country it came from? Correct! It is the manjira from India. And this one? Good. This is rubab, a type of cordobone in Pakistan. And how about this? Yes, it is a Jewish liar from Israel. Amazing! Now, try to listen to this song. Can you identify the country they came from? from India. The vocal music in India is a way to express deep devotion to God. It is manifested to the art of vocalization, which becomes more than just a vocal warm-up, but an act of worship. Distinctive characteristic of Indian music includes the tala, the raga, the sruti, the alankara, the drone, and the dialogue of drums. The tala is known to be the rhythmic time cycle. A raga is an aesthetic melodic form in based on a scale of 5 to 7 tones. The sruti is a 22 microtones, an ornamentation for the ragas. Another important element is the drone, a low monotone sound that is continuously played throughout the composition. There are two characteristics of traditional music of India, the Carnatic and Hindustani music. Carnatic music is from South India, directed to a Hindu god which is why it is called temple music. Music pieces are mainly set for a voice and with lyrics. Compositions called Kriti, a devotional song. While Hindustani music is from North India, influenced by ancient Hindu musical traditions, historical Vedic religion, Vedic philosophy, native Indian sounds, nasal singing is observed in their vocal music. 
Kyal means imagination, their common style of singing. The hymn to Shiva is a song from India. Now, watch and listen to this video clip of the hymn to Shiva. This time, let's sing together. Ponay mataray pumiyay na di The music of Israel is a combination of Jewish and non-Jewish music traditions. Music is an integral part of national identity. Israeli singers have a distinctive vocal style. They sing with guttural and throaty enunciation. There are two divisions of Jewish music, devotional and secular. Devotional, almost entirely vocal, featured during Sabbath, and other holy days, the art of Hassan has always been evident in the culture. Secular instruments and voices are used, played during life passages events, context lies outside the religious domain, very rhythmic and have popular and romantic texts. Sungali Gali is a traditional Hebrew song relating to the formation of the state of Israel. Let's watch, listen, and follow the song Sum Gali Gali. Gali 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 g
gali gali zum 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 gali 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 zum gali gali zum gali 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 zum between Sumgaligali or Him to Shiva. Practice the song with interpretation using simple movements. Take a video of your presentation and submit it to your teacher via Messenger or Google Classroom. Enjoy the activity! I hope you have learned something today. Stay safe and God bless.